go. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mape. I just do away with it. Please don't put it in the video. I will. Mape, why are you like this? <laughs> I need bloopers. <laughs> hey you guys. Okay, I'll try. Five minutes later. <laughs> welcome to collab so far. For me, it's a red flag. Yes! Yes! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, welcome to Mwape's channel. Oh, by the way, this is Mwape. I'm Mwaji. And welcome to Kalabtoba. Oh, yeah. I should have said that. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen from our intro that we've got some really cool things lined up for you. Um, before we get into the video, I want to say that so, decided to film from switch it up a little, you know, give you guys some yeah, good right? background. Yeah. yeah, so we are at the balcony, exactly. him, and they are located in what area? Long Acres ish. What area do you call this? Mass Media, maybe? Okay, what area is this? Hi, Wiza. What area is this? I'm not going to give you a location, but I'm pretty sure you know where Fallsway is. Yes. It's at Fallsway, it's called the balcony, and it's this really cute restaurant, it's really cute, cafe, like, yeah. bar vibes. I really like um, it. My yeah. heart is, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll insert clips of the Absolutely. place. Absolutely, 100. Yeah, guys, yeah. come and have, <clears throat> nice, they have nice food as well. Yeah, they have really oh, nice they food. have really nice food, and then as you can see, look at just the personality in the drinks. Exactly. And then we also wanted to just mention that our outfits are sponsored by Afri Shop. Afri Shop. Shout out to Afri Shop, and we're gonna insert some good pictures you of guys, how the outfits actually look in their full glory. Exactly, and it's summer. You know, yellow is the, is the color of summer. So, get yeah, yourself yeah. some merchandise from mm -hmm. Afri Shop. Like. Today's videos are like relationship themed. Yes. Yeah. And yes. Um, in my video, we're going to talk about green flags. Mwaji also has a video where we're going to be talking about so green flags. So check out my channel after here. Absolutely. And welcome if you're from my video. Yes. Yes, that's it. Yeah. So, I want to say one um, green flag for me is someone who is trustworthy. 100%. Yeah, I think I've come from some really crazy relationships in the past. And I was just telling Mwaji that it's crazy how our experiences really shape what we look for in relationships post whatever we've gone through in the past. So I think for me, I wouldn't say trust was such a big deal, but how can it not be? No, 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 like, it wasn't like first, you know where I'll be like trust. It was there, but I wouldn't be like, the first thing is someone who I trust. It was just in the back of my head. Like I know I want that. There were other things that I would say before I say trust. Do you get what I mean? Exactly. Lord, once, once trust, trust, trust is, is broken, broken, it's a wrap. <laughs> Literally. And the thing is, the unfair part though is that it's both of you have to work to build trust, but your trust is working. How do you trust that you're building trust together? So it's just a lot of work and I you literally that. have to be like intentional about it. So for me, trust, I need to be able to sleep at home knowing that the person who I'm with has got me, they love me, they are loyal. So for me, that's and such a big deal. And ultimately, I feel like the only way that we can keep Someone ourselves in check is if we have an understanding of scripture. I agree with you, because yeah. Because you cannot... Left to yourself. Left to yourself, no. you cannot... You will stray. We are literally really will drawn to sin. Exactly. That's our nature. nature. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are constantly... Guard, like literally your guard is up here. Mm. You know, not saying, okay, I'm not the type of person. I will not do that. You'll be shocked. Girl, I like that. That's you will what be shocked. people who say, no, me. there's nobody who is the holiest <laughs> than thou no. person that will never sin. You know, yeah. we are all capable of yeah. doing that. But it's just how we I think position fear of ourselves. God. Yes, fear of, fear God. of God. Fear of God. Basically, you guys constant it's in prayer. In you and your partner mm. together. Yes. Like, you know, not not alone because you, you want to grow yes, together. That's true. Obviously they do have their their spirituality yeah, is their own. Yeah. But there's certain things that you can do together to just build Absolutely. each other and guard Love guard it. yourselves yeah. from yeah. From yeah. the the vultures. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, so for me, trust don't have too much confidence in yourself. Mm. Um. Yeah. Yes. Just always keep yourself keep, in check. Be humble. Exactly. Yeah. Be humble. Tell, constantly tell yourself that you are capable of doing things, but you don't want to. And the only way the that you exactly the grace of God by the grace of God in our uh, left to ourselves. Like yeah. You said, yeah. And I also we think I, it's not only trustworthiness with regard to unfaithfulness and things like that. I also think in, with regard to finances, with regard to um, whether you trust them with responsibilities, whether they are they stick to their word. I think it's also in small situations mm. like that. But for me, trustworthiness one hundred. 
over to you, girl? I would say responsibility. Someone who's responsible? Somebody who's okay, very good. responsible. I like that. Um, when it comes to managing okay. time, hey. managing their money, uh, you know, yeah. all these... There's so many things. Because you're literally like working towards my You are married. You're literally I'm giving married. your life to this person. Exactly. So you need to trust that they will make the right decisions. You're messing your finances. Absolutely. Like so, yeah. You he, just, he's being a, he's becoming a father. So you want someone who's responsible. Exactly. Not, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So for me, it's responsibility. Yeah. Responsibility for me is. Absolutely, I love that. Yeah. Okay, my um, third would be someone who loves me. And you know what? I never really understood this one. Mm. But it's you need to be able, and my mom was like, "Mama, you need to be able to sleep at night knowing that you are loved. You shouldn't have to be. I shouldn't have to be texting much. Like, much. Do you think like yeah. he loves me? Do you think I should be chilling at home knowing that even if he hasn't called me at 19, I should know that it's not because of something malicious where he's just like I don't. I just don't care for Mwape right yeah. now. Like it's he loves me, and I should rest in that, and I should just know that you know what, whatever's going on." I, at the root of it, I know that I am loved. Hmm. I think that's such a big I deal. I 100% agree. She picked a club in relationships, guys. It's tough. No, yeah, and this should, this should have been are. our first one. Oh. A God fearing. I agree. Per, like a God fearing man. Like somebody who it goes to church, you know, who and not just his goes to church, just to go to church. Yes, he's committed to, in his relationship yeah. with God. Um, I feel like that's like number one important because the only way that the rest of the things that we're saying can line up is if that is in check. in check do you know what i mean so yeah basically somebody who takes their faith very seriously um and it's bearing fruit i think that's something that we people exactly. will profess faith but is, people are and they bearing trust fruit me, with keeping in repentance and it's not and when we say god fearing we're not saying perfect no we're not uh, looking yes. for anybody perfect but no because we all know yeah uh-huh yeah girl yeah understands what a relationship with god means you know I mean, this is yeah, not to say that they're perfect. They know that they can yeah. fall, and even when they fall, they repent. Absolutely, you know what I mean. Yeah. They 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 acknowledge their shortcomings, yeah. things like that. I feel like that's yeah. very important. And I, I also just want to add to the God fearing part. I really, I just want to emphasize that it's really good to be very careful with who you marry and who how like how serious do they take their relationship with God. At the end of the day, you will be affected. You are not um like. What is it like safe from the consequences of their lack of fear of God? What you accept in your relationship, you guys, it's not going to change Girl. in marriage. Please don't get into a relationship and be like, oh, he'll change. Girl. He'll change. He won't. He won't. He really and people won't. don't change. People do not change. Yeah. The, only, the only person, the only, the only being that can change a man is God alone. You yourself, no. you, you don't have the capacity. I'll change him. You no, really you don't. See. So Sorry. whatever you, literally whatever you accept oh, in a relationship, in marriage, it will even be worse. That's what my I'm sister in told me. Yeah. In it, marriage, it doesn't it get better, it, it, does, gets it gets worse. worse. It, and, and you can't say anything no, about it can't. because he's been doing it all along. So why do you have a problem all of a sudden? I you see. know what I mean? I don't For me, I, I was thinking like, somebody who's just my friend. Girl. You guys, like, yeah, there's so much yeah, beauty. That's true. Like, my husband is my best friend. You guys, we can sit and laugh the whole day. Like, that's just how like, yeah. and it's so beautiful it's, yeah. you know like you, we don't have to do the most we don't have to be out I, there we, doing, i see you don't but, need external things exactly to be, like okay but with, literally yeah. like we're just so happy when we're I together see. you know what i yeah. mean yeah so for me it's just having a friend because I, I think i was, I was talking to, to adele and belly about this you know it's very possible to love somebody uh-huh. but not like them as a person so just a friend for me a friend i really I like what you said for me another thing okay i've got a long list but patience Patience for me That's is because I am yeah, I am Lord. like you guys. My husband is patient. <laughs> <laughs> like when I, when I actually think about the things that I do, I'm just like, okay, um, I do the most. I, I really do the most, and he's very patient with me, and I really appreciate. Like he doesn't get he doesn't get frustrated. Yeah. I didn't I go into a relationship thinking, thinking okay, patient, I see. but having been in it, I'm like, okay, I'm really glad that, that he's yeah, patient yeah. with me. One thing I just want to say is, I think someone who's willing to learn and mm-hmm. to unlearn and to change, True. I think that's such a big deal because even if we say all these things, no one is perfect. So don't have this checklist and be Ooh. like, okay, so he has to be like this, he has to be like this, he has to be like that. But you need someone who's willing um, to be corrected. In mm-hmm. the same way, you also should be willing to be corrected. Who's willing to learn you? Mm-hmm. Because literally, guys, you're schooling. Like, I'm a school, he's a school. Like, mm-hmm. we just, we have to learn each other. 
and, and someone it's a, who's it's willing. a process. There's, it's really there's no way that you can say, okay, I know more. Ha, done. Done. Like, <laughs> I don't need to do anymore. No. It's literally, still there. Like, still like you death, literally you're learning. Keep, yeah. Exactly. And I remember this couple were talking to them, like, sometimes you think, like, ah, finally, I've learned. Mm. And then because people evolve, yeah. So you literally have to keep learning because Mape, what Mape likes today is not what Mape will like tomorrow. tomorrow. And we're allowed to change. Absolutely. So I really think someone who's willing to be corrected, who's willing to learn and then learn. So I agree. Yeah. Okay, so we, we so now on so this from thing, the screenshot that we found, you can read yeah, okay, it. Yeah, now. dependability presence. Um I feel like that like I need you to be there. Yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what I mean? That's good. Um sense of safety and security, hundred yeah, percent yeah, I agree with yeah. this. Um, solid foundations, trust, honesty, respect. 100. Foundations basically for us is the Bible is the, the foundation. Literally, like as long as he is constantly in the word, we are happy. Owning also, up to mistakes and that's genuine such apologies. A big that's what deal. Yeah. Hmm. Like if they if they wrong you, if they raise their voice, yeah, if, yeah, you know, yeah. Anything. Yeah. They, they'll come to you and be like, I'm really sorry for yep. the way that I spoke it's to you. Such and a then big also, you know, deal. sometimes um men as w- women we're very sensitive. Sometimes men do things to us that they don't realize is wrong. We need to tell them, okay, look, I didn't like it when you did this. And they will apologize. 100%. 100%. So if they, and the thing is, your feelings are your feelings valid. No matter what, there's nobody who can tell you that your feelings are invalid. Um, so yeah, just basically tell him, like, okay, look, I didn't like it when you, yeah. when you raised your voice yeah. like this. Or, yeah. And then he will apologize yeah. and say, you know what, yep. I'm sorry for doing that. So that's important too. Open to personal healing work. That's important that's because, true, because you guys, we're all we go through things in yeah. our childhood. Um, validation of feelings and experiences. That's such a big, not someone who like overlooks how you feel. You know, yeah. Like I feel hurt by what you did. Ah, like you know, they just yeah. want to give you a listening ear and validate exactly. your feelings are valid. Exactly. And yes. for me, like I'll give an example of me, you guys. I. <sighs> I honestly feel silly for the way that I feel about certain things, mm. but my husband is just like, just tell me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it, it doesn't it's, matter yeah, how yeah, silly yeah. it yeah. sounds in your head, just tell me. So, I really like that. I really, for me, that's it's a, it's a green flag 100%. Emotional maturity. For difficult emotions. That's true. Emotional intelligence, guys. You very have to important. understand that people go through mm. moving stuff. Yeah, it's very important. I wanted to also add one very important it's someone who can lead. Ooh. Girl. Prophet, priest, what, what he must be, provider, protector. Yes, yeah. One, yeah. he should be able to lead because um, Uncle Vody always says the last time a woman led, we were kicked out of Eden. Um, I swear, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you need someone who's able to lead, capable of leading. That is a big one. It's such a and big deal. And even just deal. allowing them to lead, I know that girl, we and have, that girl, that's as so women, true. You literally. We, we, we like to take control yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But then just give them the chance. Give them yeah. the chance to lead. You don't want to always be butting heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's hard. We get it. Because it's basically it's you submitting to his leadership. And it's it's not like easy. You can't do, It's not something that you do in your sleep. You actually have to always ask God to give you the grace to do that. And that to trust hurts. his leading. Yeah. And that's why you need to be able to trust these things. I feel like these things all just come. Because you need to be able to submit to his leading. And you only do that if you trust someone. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to also say that. Um, the part to do with leading, it's gone. The God has gone about You're calling it back? Yeah, but I don't think it will come. Leading, leading, leading. He should be a leader. Trust is leading. Was it anything to do with like encouraging you to, you know, read your Bible? G- girl, that's such a good point. That's true. He needs yeah. to be able to lead you, especially spiritually. Yeah. Um, that is very, is that what you it's to a say? very good. No, no, no. I remember that I'm saying. So when we talked about love, um, I think it's very, very important because um, there's something that we forgot to say. The Bible is very clear that husbands love your wives, wives submit your husbands. Mm-hmm. And I've heard so many talks about how literally, guys, if husbands just love their wives, wives just submitted to their husbands, marriages will be more peaceful than they are. So you need to be able to see that this man who you are with is able to love you as Christ intended, as Christ loved the church. If love is, it covers a multitude of sins. And we women, mm, no, Very no, we really are. These hormones are and what difficult. God really knows how he wired the women and the, you know, men, like to just complement each other. And mm-hmm. for me, that's just really amazing. Oh, uh-huh. I want to add one more green flag, just like 
yeah someone who pursues you i think i've come from so many relationships in my past where i did the pursuing and without even knowing it just because the guy wasn't rising to the occasion and i didn't know that i that life and the way god has intended it is for him to pursue me mm -hmm. so yeah the one who's always suggesting things who's always texting who's always calling and i'll, I'll give an example of me as mm -hmm. well like when in my previous relationship um, you know when you start, no, when you start getting to know somebody, you you, you haven't really even like yeah. gone out yet, mm -hmm. but like you're spending a lot yes, of time yes, together, and you're I like, think, oh okay, yeah. so what are we? Like you're the one who is, yes, who is asking, like, okay, <laughs> agree, are, we, yes. are we are we like in a yes, relationship? Yeah. Like what, what are we? Is what are we? Doing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you, you mm -hmm. as, us as women, we shouldn't be the ones to be making that step, make, like taking that step. Yeah. When the guy is ready, he will be like, if he's very serious, he'll be like, okay, mm -hmm. look, on the onset. I am very interested in a relationship with yeah. you, yada, yada, yada. Let him be the one to set the direction of yeah. the relationship and not the, women, yeah. the woman to push yeah. it. God didn't plan for yeah. it to be that way. That's not how it is. It's really we, organic we are if meant we go to about it the right pursued. way. He who Absolutely. finds hey. a wife. You know 100. what I mean? It doesn't say she who finds hey. a husband. Hey. So guys, yeah. just leave the, leave the pursuing to the guys and just wait to be pursued chill so, enjoy literally they'll come and sweep you yes off your you feet. literally shouldn't have to lift the finger and literally. i mean it's like you should you should enjoy being pursued it's yeah. a really it's a happy time it's a happy and so i think guys also pursuing, enjoy the, pro the process of that's pursuing. because they're hunters exactly they're they by hunt. nature yes yeah so 100 100 yeah good agreed so yeah that's all i have to say on green flag me too and i like this me too mm. yeah I don't, I don't think there's anything that we've forgotten, but if there's anything that you guys think we've forgotten or anything that means so much to you in green, like your green flags in relationships or marriage, comment. please comment down below and let us know whether your experiences in marriage have shaped how you view green flags or your experiences in your relationships. Just let us know. We're always here to listen. And yeah, we want to learn from you guys as well. Yeah. So. So I hope Please. you've enjoyed Collaptober so far. Exactly. Subscribe to our content. You don't want to miss the next videos that will be coming And up. we're going to end this video with a giveaway. Yay. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, okay, you it go, is you go, you go. okay, so we have a giveaway for you for this week's um, Collaptober. And it's a giveaway in collaboration with Evolve. They're sponsoring three... Um, free memberships, memberships for, a, for month. a month so the first two are free memberships for the month at the evolve gym at the actual location along independence avenue so head over to the link in the description box and it'll you'll be, be able on, to it'll, it'll be, be on my page and instagram yeah page. and you'll be able to see all the instructions there all they're the information also, will be on instagram absolutely and they're also giving away one free they've launched an app exactly. by the way so they've launched an app and they're giving away one free um, membership or subscription for the month mm -hmm. so please check it out you guys and just all the information will be in the description box I head over to my channel yes we have a video on red, red flags, flags on Maddie's channel. channel so yeah you guys thank you so much thank for you for watching video. happy collaptober to you and take care bye, bye. <laughs>